Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. And as uh, my partner, John Cohn, would like to say, this is a what? Oh, a vlog. So <laughs> it's we're, a, vlogging. Yeah. Yeah, we're vlogging you today. I feel very blogged today, yeah. Hey, Art, how's your hearing? Huh? I know we didn't actually discuss this before, but that was the right, that was the right answer. So what? <laughs> that was the right answer. <laughs> so here's, here's my, uh, my subject for today. Um, as we get older, our body changes. We know, you know most people need glasses in their 40s. And what we don't talk about very often is that in their 50s, a lot of people's hearing starts to go uh, to various degrees. Some, some like me, where I lost, uh, didn't lose complete hearing, lost the high frequencies in one ear. And then my late 60s, I lost the high frequencies in the other ear. And uh, finally, in my 70s, got, got hearing aids. Hmm. But here's the, here's the point, is we watch television and put on the closed captioning, not because my hearing's so bad, but because we don't understand they're talking too fast. And it started with, with um, we watched a lot of British shows. Sure. So it started with, we put it, put it on, if there was a foreign movie, obviously you'd want closed captioning. But if even the British shows and then the Australian shows, we found, a, we found that we could watch the Australian shows, TV shows more easily, understand their language. <laughs> better than the Brits. Mm -hmm. So we started using closed captioning on that. And then we use closed captioning on everything <laughs> just because it's easier, you know? Well, it's kind of interesting. Don't miss uh, anything. My, my wife takes a, um, uh, uh, a film class uh, online now. She used to show up in person uh, every term. And they, they watch about uh, 15 films to 16, 15, 16 week course. And, uh, She's been using closed captioning all the time because of a lot of her films are foreign. Uh, and uh, even though it's they're speaking in English, it's difficult to discern them. Again, yep. maybe part of it's hearing, but it wasn't so much that. It's just that, uh, like you say, it would go too fast or, <laughs> excuse me, we wouldn't be able to understand. So she turns it on almost all the time. Yeah. But we also found out from time to time that in some uh, American shows, uh, A, we may not hear as well as we used to hear, but it goes so quickly, sometimes it's difficult to to pick out a, a term. And even when sure. we don't have it on, if we miss something, we'll have to rewind and turn the closed caption on just to find out what they said. Was it 20,000 or 200,000? Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. So. Uh, but uh, I, I used to, I used to watch with the closed caption on eons ago when I watched also a lot of British uh, 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 and Australian because I always like to see the letter U thrown in there for color and for yeah. things like that just to get it straight. Even though I do it, so I got a kick out of it. Yeah. But uh, it is useful. You know, it's really useful with these new. Um, I don't know what you call them, but they're they're. Um, very expensive costume dramas, the the uh, Game of the Thrones. Crack. Now yeah, there's the dragon the crown and and all the yep. British, yeah. And and Handmaiden's Tale, it, it, stories where they're using a lot of uh, made up words, and um, uh, unusual. And then even in, in the dragon, whatever that is, uh, Game of Thrones, they have uh, a they they're speaking two languages. This made up language. You mean like they use the word oldie? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so it's really useful there because the name and the names all sound the same anyway, you know. Sure. So I hope uh, I hope everybody gets to use closed captioning. It's a great tool. Thank goodness. I remember when it was rare, mm -hmm. when it was unusual, and you'd only see it on PBS that somebody sponsored it. Well, for for uh, some of the really infirm folks in our audience like you, uh, the wonderful thing is that on all of our uh, videos that are up on YouTube, uh, if you choose closed captioning, 95% uh, of them have closed captioning that are there, uh, which is actually generated by YouTube. Uh, so yeah. they've, they've understood the importance of this uh, years and years and years and years ago. Uh, yeah. 
and uh, so those closed captionings work. And uh, also, um, uh, there are a lot of people who are uh, getting hearing assists. I won't call it hearing aid, although it's probably as good as or better in most cases than what used to be very expensive hearing aids through, uh, I think there's a company, I may have seen one the other day, Lively, things like that. And they all work, and I know that, I think you have one that works through your smartphone that uh, helps you exactly. hear better there, but still some of the stuff doesn't come through clearly, either because they, the people speak like me, so it's hard to understand what people like me are saying anyway. Uh, and uh, but other times it's just the the volume goes down or it comes up and you just can't follow it or yeah. like uh, you 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 probably went to a lot of heavy metal concerts i know your type that's, so that's probably was. where your ears got blown out yeah, i was sitting close to the radio listening to gene shepherd late at night <laughs> i'm sure yeah all right anyway i've got to go i've got to check my closed captioning what you know <laughs> You know, I just want to leave you with this thought. Closed captioning is getting so good because it's all automatic now. Mm -hmm. It's getting so good. They can even translate the Peanuts gang. Remember the Peanuts gang and the Peanuts oh. movies? All the adults would talk like this. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, well, you wah, know what? Wah, wah. But they can that, that comes through and it says wah, 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 wah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you no, know, it, uh, it is great. Uh, we use it. Uh, you leave it on. You're, that's your default, is you leave it on. And yeah. uh, it's a good thing. Uh, and uh, you know what? It's really great because it's there. And uh, it, you, when you go to the movies, well, you're screwed because they don't have, unless it's a foreign film translated into English with subtitles, and that's yeah. not really closed captioning. Uh, but at home, you don't have to be embarrassed about it or anything else. And quite frankly, it's a tool to use it. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Keep watching Celebrating Act Two, and please subscribe. And don't and don't be embarrassed by turning on the closed caption. It's just between you and me. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.